And just another little video of them eating. This is on December 6th, six weeks old. We have Clyde. Then we have Maximus. Then we have Lemmy. Then we have Sundance over there. Over here at the top we have Rose and then Buddy. Then we have Xena. We have Phoenix and then Turk over there. They're starting to a little mix more solid food. Pretty soon it'll all be kibble and a little bit of wet. They're drinking water extremely well. Right. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get them all in one spot. Hopefully tomorrow I can get them outside. It's supposed to be nice. Yeah, they got all kinds of play toys, but they, they love washcloths just as much. Oh, big burp. Here it is, November 7th. This is the first time really going outside. There you got Zena. Over there you got Turk. Right there you have Buddy. Right here is Lemmy. And there's Clyde. Oh, and there's Phoenix under me. Got a couple more coming. Kind of hard when there's nine. And there's Maximus. And there's Rose. And there's Sundance, and my son. Try and see if I can. Oh, we're going to the bathroom. Oh, couple. Can you get some paper towels, please? I do a little video of each one of them out here, I'm trying to get the group and see what they're doing. As they come out of the weaning box, they like to go to the bathroom right away. You can probably see two or three of them already doing that. Just set them in the laundry basket, please, Thomas. Okay, trying to figure out what's going on out here, huh? Well, Max says, I still got some business to do, so we'll go off of him for a minute. Doing really well. Of course, they are just a little over six weeks. A lot of times they'll stay bunched up or cry, but these guys have been on the back porch a few times, so they kind of know, but they keep coming under me. What you doing? What are you doing, Sundance? In the bathroom.
little bouncers right now. They're like, freedom! John Dance, don't have to whine. Great towards Thomas since he's sitting down. Does not need the laundry basket? No, you don't need the laundry basket. Rose, you and Clyde come over here. Clyde's following me like right at my feet. Clyde. Hey, Rose. And Lemmy's got to get in on the action. Oh, Max carrying sticks already. You got you got your prize, Max. <laughs> Guess he's gonna be the branch carrier. I was going to get one this weekend, but it's supposed to be like 45, and it's like 60 today. I don't want to take them out when it's that cold for an extended period. Follow me, Clyde. You're not gonna let me go, are you, buddy? <laughs> what? What are you telling me, Clyde? Is it that bad? Is it really that bad? Hey Thomas. Yeah. Why don't you why don't you get up and then come over here really fast and, and get them to follow you. Come on guys and girls, come on. Come on. Everybody's busy. Trying to find something else, Max. Yep, more sticks. Wish I had a squeaker. Can't whistle. Come on. Uh, they don't know what they want to do. It's all new. They're all excited. This will wear them out. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. 
Who's crawling, biting up my leg? Come on. No squabble. What you figuring out, Lemmy? Well, they seem to be enjoying this. I hope you enjoy their first time really in the grass.